Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. I am out sourcing again, and this time I have to thank Christine from The Turn Leg. If you haven't seen her channel yet, you gotta bounce over to her YouTube channel. She has a lot of great content over there, but I'm gonna thank her for highlighting this thrift store, which I did not know existed. It's called Motown Thrift. I think it's a, yep. It says Motown Thrift Stores. I had to double check the name on the outside there. And I'm going to go in and see what I can find. That is a huge base. I want $24.96 for it. Yeah, it's gigantic. And look at him. White tags are 75% off and green ones are 50% off. They also offer military and seniors 25% off. Look at her, she's so cute. I thought this little wooden car was really interesting. This was a clear glass platter with the silver overlay flowers on it. I have another piece just like it. I wanted to take a closer look at this reticulated plate. It was made in Germany. The music was just so loud. I like that they had bags of goodies. These were all Christmas related, but I did pick them up and turn them around to see if there was anything interesting. If I found anything, it was going to go in the cart. You'll have to wait for the haul to see if any of these bags made it into my cart. I already have a set of the small home co bears. These are the large ones. Another clear platter with a silver overlay. This is a 25th anniversary plate. This was adorable. It was a sewing desk teapot. On the bottom it said that it was made exclusively for General Mills. See that teddy bear? I remember my mom buying these. 1986. Do you guys see all of these? They're Baby Yoda. These are masks. Star Wars masks. Kids masks. Oh my gosh, they have a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness, they go the whole way down the shelf. They're everywhere. This place was huge. There was so much to look through. Found another Christmas aisle with a bunch of bags. That sounds good. Minty hot chocolate. Bolt to grab. Shoot. Although I started looking at these pretty quickly, if you guys see anything, let me know. I can always go back and check for it. Interesting. Have to think about that. 
little container of hand painted little houses with like hobbyist pieces. I think it holds them to six. It looks like Easter bunnies. And some other ceramics in here. A quick look down the linen aisle. I did see this but I wasn't so sure about some of the handiwork on it. I do know how to crochet, so I was looking at some of the rough ends there. It's darn handy, but I think I'm gonna make it. Very pretty though. Okay, so this caught my eye. That is a complicated pattern right there, and I love the colors on it. And I want $7 for it. I looked it over, it's looking really good. That's gonna make it into the cart. Just saw another well-made blanket. It's in pastels. It's like a baby blanket for six dollars. Put that also in the cart. There's a shot of the cart. Here's another one. Three. 98. Really well made, well stitched in the cart. So what am I doing with all of these afghans? I'll tell you in the haul. Look how long this clear glass aisle is. I found another decanter. Look at these cuties, little seals. Masterpiece by Hunko. These back here. Now somebody has this one listed. It's Hunko 1981. Listed on eBay for like seventy dollars. The solds only have them at seven to ten dollars. So unfortunately, they're going to have to stay here. This is the rest of these shelves. Oh, look at here. Look how cute. Too much crazy. I know that this is going to be up to do, and it is. There was another woman looking for this. She had the other two, and she goes, I know I saw it. It's right here. Oh, this is cute. What is this? Oh, it's modern, but it's adorable. Basket weave with the shamrocks on it. Feel like it fits that. That says Limoges. Why does it seem that that lid is too big for that? I don't know if that goes together. But I would love it if they had the proper lid. Limoges. I might have to look it up. Okay. Per Google Lens, this is Limoges. That is the correct top. Hmm. 99 cents. I think I'll check that. In the cart, gotta find a spot where it's not gonna get hurt. There it goes. Cute little cow. It's plain, but it is vintage USA pottery. Oh, it's a bell. It's like a cowbell. George Gooch. Oh yeah, I should have known that with the bamboo handle. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, he's chipped there. 
Oh, it's a music box. Bramble and Kluvo. Look at this cute little chipmunk. He needs nothing. Oh my goodness, look at that. No, no, no. I'm not going to get that. Broken nose. Let's see. Ooh, this looks like an ashtray. It's got some crazy on it. Save the something we want. That rug, hug, don't you know what that to say. It is a vintage ashtray for Don but I don't think I'm gonna get it. This is cute. shelves. But this end I'm not seeing too much, so I'm going to keep moving up. I love Superman. <laughs> Who doesn't like Superman? Let's see what we got. The music's kind of loud, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. It's all missing that, but these are really cool. That's really cool looking. Mm. Yeah, that's a shame. So there's a whole bunch of these Libby Pilsner glasses. Dollar ninety nine each. I think this was this is ninety nine cents. Seventy nine cents. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me move this out of your way. Is that... Am I still in your way? Oh, yeah. Got it. These are so cute. I love the little ones. I don't have that size. I actually have these from my mom. The, the tall drinking glasses. I do not have these. Mm, I have to think about it. Okay, so I noticed a bunch of saucers for teacups. Really pretty. Love the colors on that. Oh, I would love to find some things I would love to find a teacup for that. Hmm, I have to think about it. Oh, that one's got some weight to it. More talky. But they are so fun. I found the teacups. I wonder if any of them will match. Just stacks and stacks of saucers, no cups. Found a few here and there that might match up to the ones before, but oh, there's another fish. There's another plastic fish. Um, ooh, what is that? I know that pattern. I just got the canisters for this. This is the marmalade pattern, dollar ninety eight. I'm gonna see where can I put this in the cart that it's not gonna get hurt. This is going to be hard to unload. We'll see. It's balanced right there. Looking at the teapot. This is a cute one. Ooh, look at this one. $4.98. Is that a flamingo one? Somebody's 
yard sale sticker, looks like. This is Ken Pottery. I'm just gonna check it over, but I think it's coming home with me. And we're gonna very carefully put it in the cart. There's another teapot back here, but it has just a ton of grazing, way too much that I'm comfortable with. It is made in England, although that's upside down, but you guys can see that this is England. I'm just going to leave that one. This is what my cart looks like coming out to the car. I'm completely full. Can't wait to show you guys the haul. Okay, so that was a really good shopping trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the thrift with me. My total spend was, I'm gonna look at my, was $78.57, but that did include, include clothes for me and a couple pants for my daughter. When it's 50% off and they're only asking, I think it was like $4.98, so it's like $2.50 or so, or $0.48. Cents for a pair of pants and they were a good brand of course I'm gonna pick them up and anyways I will be doing um, the haul and I will tell you exactly how much the thrifted items that I'm gonna flip for a profit will be uh, minus you know the clothing out of that total